Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we got Mortal Kombat X Quan Chi. And uh, this is the first Mortal Kombat X figure I'm doing an unboxing for. And that is because I found this guy on sale for about less than $7 at Toys R Us. Because they were super clearanced out. He was the one of the figures I wanted that and Scorpion. And I never picked up Scorpion. And then I saw him lonely on a shelf. And I could not say no to this figure. So as you can see, he comes in the typical Mortal Kombat X box. The little Mortal Kombat logo in the back. Mortal Kombat X down there with the dragon logo, Quan Chi. And there he is with all his little accessories. And uh, look in the back. Focus in on there. Quan Chi looking badass on the back. Angry as always. It's actually a cool little skull on his chest. He comes with his sword, alternate hands, and the skull. Pretty cool. And you can actually see this uh, some accessories in the package here. Let's see if I can focus. It's like it's double bubbled. The plastic actually has the dragon and bows on it as well. Got the sets of hands, sword, skull down there, and I think he comes with some. Yeah, he comes with those hands too. But uh, pretty stoked to do an unboxing on this figure. So let's go ahead and bust him out of his plastic prison and let the plastic aroma fill the room. There we got him out of the package. And the reason I have him looking like this is because this is really cool. Um, reminiscence of SH Figuarts type figure because he comes with a nice little plastic insert. Oops. And it reveals like keeps all the stuff organized, all his accessories and everything. And uh bottom there we got his little skeletal hands oh crap well well we got some hands sort of scattered around so you get the idea of the package let me gather those hands that sort of popped out everywhere there we got Quan Chi out of that little bubble and I found all his hands because that was a pain in the the ass but let's uh take a look at these accessories so i'll start with the more generic he comes with a couple sets of hands he has equipped his holding hands um but what you get right now is let's see if i can get this to focus yeah you get some fist hands actually no these are the gripping hands for a sword. Wow. I am a dumbass. But yeah. The detail in these hands are awesome. And they got the wrist pivot and everything on there. Next hands will be the fist hands. Staying consistent with the Black little armor pieces or finger armor or whatever. But yeah, these are uh, really awesome. Really awesome. Let's keep stepping it up. Let's take a look at this sword. And the sword is disgusting. It looks like it's metal that's just been beat the shit. It's like such a primitive looking sword. But looking freaking sick. And then look at the detail that it has on like the Let's see if you can get that. I don't know if it's blurry or not. Jeez. Yeah, you can see the wrap on there. I don't know if it's like bone with metal blade and wrapped in leather. It's pretty sick. Comes with 
a set of skeletal hands. These hands, they pop into his back. Made out of that translucent green. Looking pretty awesome. Really like this translucent green. It's actually this this type of green, this color green. Sort of like a bright ass green. One of my favorite colors. Then he also comes with his signature magical skull. And this skull is really, really detailed. Like the sculpt on it. It's badass. Like this, these accessories alone are just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. but yeah. And now let's take a look at the figure. This figure is just a solid figure. Head sculpt has that nice snarl, makeup around the eyes, spot on the forehead, just the markings on his head. And when I say solid, like, this body feels like it's a solid piece of plastic. Like, he's a heavy figure. Look at those blades on his shoulder. Arm tattoos. All clean. And we got that, like, skull. If you can see it on there. It needs a little bit more dry brushing, but it's got the skull on the chest. More tattoos, and of course, you know, when you rotate your character's arm, it's going to mess the tattoos up. There's really cool dry brushing on the back armor. Like the fur around here. It's just disgusting. Like, whoever sculpted these knows definitely what he's doing. And it's really cool, too, is like the little knee pads or skulls. Really cool, like a lot of little paint details. So I can understand why they were the price they weighed when they uh, was so high when they first came out. Because these are like I can't imagine these being cheap to make, um, compared to like Marvel Legends or something like that. Because um, let's get this to sort of look at him a little bit. So he does come with like he has like a little bit of a waist swivel. Not much. I think it's because of the rubbery like belt harness thing it's arms stiff can go out this like can go out rotate too I just need to be worked but like the overall um, elbows it's normal single jointed elbow swivel rotating wrist pivoting wrist sort of restricts the pivoting on uh, top here because he has like a, you can see it there, it's like a hand guard. But really awesome legs. Can go out pretty far. Knees, just all single jointed. His leg, his ankles can are like on a ball joint, so they can pivot, bend up and down. Really good motion out of the lay, out of the uh, let's go ahead and put some of the stuff on them. Arms attached like that. We got to change the arm out or a hand out because we need a sword handy holding hand. That actually popped off pretty easy. Not like. Okay. There we got them, all posed up, looking 
badass. It is a awesome figure. Now I wish I would have got a hold of uh, a scorpion somehow. But uh, definitely, definitely awesome looking figure. Holds that skull looking really nice. But yeah, there you guys have it. This is my first and probably my only one, unless I get a hold of Scorpion. Uh, Mortal Kombat X figure review. This is Quan Chi. And uh, he's, he's pretty badass for a figure. But I do thank you guys for watching. Add a like if you like what I'm doing. Subscribe if you like what I'm doing. I mean, Overall, I just really appreciate you guys watching it. Thank you guys. From deep within my heart, appreciate everybody viewing these videos. And uh, I do thank you guys, and have a great rest of your day. Good luck hunting and collecting, guys.